Let me work out how to hold on to you. I don't have any tripods or anything with me. Um, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a vlog on our little family holiday at the seaside. We're at the Kent coast. It's called Hive. It's a very important place in my family's history, particularly my mum's side of the family. Um, so she grew up very near here. We're at her sister's beautiful flat overlooking the sea um, and we're very 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 lucky with the weather yesterday we arrived and I think it was 30 degrees and sunny so it was like a proper afternoon well we didn't stay for a whole afternoon on the beach but it was like a proper the, there was lots of people on the beach not too many but it felt very like nostalgic seaside vibes people just out for the day at the at the high hive bay um it's not called that anymore but fish restaurant um yeah people having their fish and chips people having their pints on the beach their aperol spritzes and the kids having fun in the water um and i absolutely love it i just adore it we've got a couple of clips that i'll insert here <laughs> Um, we got the train down in the morning and probably got here about 12 or something so we had some lunch that we actually bought at the um, train station um, and then we basically just spent time on the beach came home boys had baths and then we went to Waitrose there's a big Waitrose and for the last few days I've been making a list of all the food that I wanted to buy at Waitrose and the meals I wanted to have and stuff and I want to have really nice breakfast when we're here. The thing that we haven't pulled off this summer holidays is staying in a hotel and I love a buffet breakfast and I was like Sammy why don't we just create our own buffet breakfasts so hopefully we're gonna have a really nice breakfast when we're here. I will show you in the fridge all the things that we bought from Waitrose. We've already eaten the mussels they do really good like boil in the bag mussels in a white wine and cream sauce and I got like Waitrose own brand oven chips um, and Morpeth had frozen peas in the freezer so we had that last night and it was just delicious I imagine we'll have quite a lot of seafood while we're here um, but I'll show you the fridge I'll show you all the bits and bobs that we've got food wise and Danny's off on a run the boys are in the little sunroom. At some point, I'll give you a tour of the flat and how it works. It's really pretty, clever, nice layout. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just be here having our seaside holiday and I'll take you along for the ride. Um, I love getting in the water here. And even on the days that it's not going to be as warm or sunny, I will still go down every morning and go and just submerge myself and be in the water even when it's really cold i just love doing that i'll probably sit on the stones and journal or read or meditate and just getting to do that every single morning here is such an amazing practice so as i say danny's just gone on a quick run i'm gonna start breakfast um but before i do that i will quickly show you the fridge uh, we've got um frosted shreddy so that was stan's like choice of holiday cereal but i'll start actually with the stuff out of the fridge just given by us a crumpet. So we, we've got Nutella, so I might let Stan have a Nutella crumpet one of these breakfasts, but we've got avocados, we've got bananas, we've got, this is our favorite bread, the Seed Sensations bread, if we can't get like proper sourdough, pink lady apples, the Stan's favorite, cars melts. These are actually some, some of that we bought with us, but mostly I bought the rice cakes and the bars in Waitrose. Um, this is, these are really good. Um, little bake in the oven rolls. Stan really likes like soft French bread. Um, so I grabbed those at Waitrose. We have a lot of little condiments. We've got honey, because we'll put that in Greek yogurt, but also it's nice on the crumpets. Pesto for um, pasta. Money Life peanut butter. That one's the best one. The deep roast crunchy is amazing. 
Now, celery stands like favourite thing in the world. And I also got some caramelised red onion chutney because I've got a really nice goat's cheese that I like and I'd like to do something with the two of those together. These are my favourite eggs ever. They're awesome. We'll probably have some eggs this morning with avocado. And got a load of pouches for Boaz because it's quite a good way of when you're out and about on holiday getting some vegetables in him. Some of them have got fruit in too. And then we've got the Charlie Bingham salmon on crew. We haven't had that in so long, so that'll be really nice. And we've got a big pizza. It's like a, what is it? Wood-fired double mozzarella margarita sourdough pizza. So we'll have that one of the nights. I thought that looked quite nice. And then I've got like picky bits. So that's left over from the, the Italian pasta spinach salad is left over from yesterday from m &S. But there's sweet potato falafels. There's nice olives. There's nice Hummus, sorry, that's my hand. There's a baba ganoush in the back there that's really, really good. Um, that's some manchego that Morph have had left over that is delicious. This is the goat's cheese I really like. It's super just um, light and smooth. And I mean, it's almost like the Philadelphia of goat's cheese, but it's not because it's not foresight. It's nicer than that. Um, and then Daniel always likes baby bell. We've got mozzarella. We've got halloumi. She already had Lurpak, I bought my Simproof with me. Uh, she already had dark chocolate, green and black, 85% I've already been nibbling on. Oh, we got um, a really, really big Greek yogurt. Um, and then down here, I really like Waitrose vegetables. So I've got these carrots, there's some tender stem broccoli, there's peppers, um, she already had some nectarines in there and some, some um, cherry tomatoes. And then I also bought lots of fruit. So Boaz has fruit often with meals, but also I thought on Greek yogurt it'd be really nice to like have berries and fruit to put on. Um, also healthy snacks. So we haven't bought anything cheeky yeah other than ice creams for the boys so for me like being able to come to the fridge and have some really nice fruit or some dark chocolate it really helps me not be like let's go and buy donuts um so strawberries this little combo is pineapple melon and mango fingers which i really like pomegranate seeds and the dutchy organic raspberries are always really good we did buy stan's absolute favorite ice cream is a 99 cake so we did buy a box of those. Um, and these were the other chips we got. They were really good, actually. Um, as Waitrose and Partners' own brand stuff usually is. But they were really nice. So that's more like how we're having our treats. Um, so yeah, let's work out what to have. I did the washing up, but I haven't tidied it up yet, which I need to do. This is the, the view out the back. So it's such... It's such a cute place, but that's the view out the back. Um, there's like a little churchy thing up there that looks like a castle. There's all these houses as it sort of slopes up the hill. But then the view on the other side, also Wolf has got really good taste in art where she bought pieces um, through my dad. So that's by um, Hernan Salamanca. That's like a little mini version of the huge one we've got in our living room. Well, not version, you know, it's, it's by him, similar. I love that. The colours on that are so great. Um, that's a self-portrait by my great auntie Maureen. Um, anyway, this is the other view. Isn't that mad? Look at that. So we're literally like right on the beach. And you come out and you just walk around and that's the beach. So it's so easy for me here once... Well, I mean, if Dan's out for a run, I can't, but it's so easy in the morning when everyone's just busy pooting around, having their breakfast, having some watch time, having a play. You can just so easily just go down there and have a swim. It's so nice. And this area down there is, um, sorry for the reflection, that's like a, a communal garden. You might have already seen a clip of the boys playing there last night. <laughs> been a bit of a mad old day. <laughs> Lots of big feelings from almost all of us. 
maybe I'd go so far as to say strong feelings from all four of us but it is so lovely to be here and I have had one of my best moments of my entire life today so I feel like that really shows you even if there are some crazy moments and small people are struggling or big people are struggling there has been so much joy and wonder today uh, and I feel very very happy in this place and it feels like we've really already been making wonderful memories and we've only been here a few hours so here's to the rest of our trip in Hyde so it's really good to be able to go down there and run around um, then this is like a little kind of like sunroom strip and then the two bedrooms are here and here but yeah it's stunning we really love it here she had these really cool um sort of shelving consoles built so there's slidey storage underneath and then all of these like, like little cubes and she did it years ago at a time that i had helped my brother john design something really similar for a flat of his um but yeah it's I remember coming and helping her work out how to do it. It was really, really cool. I love the way it like slopes backwards so it's not so bulky. So it's straight to there and then it slopes back. Love this piece as well. This is, we've got um, a piece by that artist at home. But yeah, I will show you other bits and bobs along the way. Like there's lots of things that she bought from Smug because she's a lovely supportive auntie. Like those cactuses were from Smug. These pieces are what she bought at Smug. There's even actually a Sam Wingate drawing of Smug in one of the bedrooms. So yeah, it's our happy place, um, along with Low Dev. And um, Stan is learning to play chess. So Stan and Dan have got a board of uh, a game of chess set up and going. So that's pretty cool too. Just making myself a chamomile tea. I've sliced up the halloumi. I've got some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes on a vine to go in the oven, just with some oil and salt and pepper. We're going to have avocado, um, paprika on the eggs. I think Stan, um, Dan might scramble his, but I'm going to soft boil. Six minute jammy eggs are my perfect eggs. And I might even get out that um, red onion chutney. I think that could be really good. Maybe some of the seedy bread. Um, so yeah, let's get breakfast going. That's Daniel coming back from his run. Can you see? Yeah. That man in black. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> approaching Daddy. the ramp there. That's Daniel coming home. Daddy. So breakfast is ready. Um, eggs with smoked paprika, halloumi, avocado. This is the red onion chutney. These are my cherry tomatoes that I roasted in the oven. What have you got, big boy? Uh, scrambled eggs and all the same. Except no tomato. No tomato. Good run? Oh, lovely run. Really nice running along the beach. Let's eat. It's pretty windy, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. But... Ready for a swim. These shoes are 100% necessary. It's a lovely beach. And even once you're in the water, like you definitely want them. So I've got those on. It's always satisfying, isn't it, when you've got the right gear, like you know what you need and you've got it down. Um, but I've got a t-shirt and cycling shorts on, so I'll whip those off in a minute and get in the water. <laughs> Hi baby! Come go to me! You got your rucksack? Look at these two. Mummy! <laughs> yeah. It's too windy for me. Ah, it's good to run the windy! Hey baby! Hey daddy!
be a privilege of when we're at home there's the little mini finks in the park as well as the main finks but there's a cafe called Loaf in Sandgate just a bit further out um, and this is like a little mini version so I'm going to go and pick up some wraps or sandwiches or toasties whatever for me and Daniel for some lunch the boys are already at home having their lunch and it's just nice to be out for a little walk getting some steps um, I'm back so this is like a little ciabatta this is the vegan option so it's like rocket and pickled red onion and hummus and cauliflower and Danny's got BLT with no tea. <laughs> I've come out now for a swim, they're playing in the garden. But it's already much less stuffy, but it was flat. It's not a swim, but it's just a bit in the waves and bobbing up and down, and all you can focus on. Like it's really kind of quite satisfying because you can't think. You can just wait for the next wave, which is not a long way, and like you ride the waves so that'll over your head and like jump. And like swim into the waves and it's really like crazy and crazy and fun and not what I thought I came out for and at first I was like I had my swim earlier when it was really sunny and nice it would have been so much nicer and I stopped downstairs and like it's far too windy for a swim but I'm gonna do it anyway because I want to swim every day and actually it was really cool it was mental it was really really cool I had a very different experience than I would have had swimming earlier and it would have been nice being in the sun but it's actually very invigorating At the beginning, I was feeling slightly fed up that I'd missed my window of it being what I thought would be a nice swim. Actually, I think being crushed about in the waves and needing to really focus on riding might have been what I needed. I can quickly show you some more smug nostalgia. James Brown did this series. This was the best one. The British Isles Sea Regions. And Morpheth bought the Phase of the Moon and the Beaufort uh, Wind Force scale. And then she also got the Sam Wingate screen print of the front of Smug. It's just so nice. And these are Donna Wilson cushions we sold. This is where um, Stan is sleeping. Normally the beds are um this bed is normally here but we move it over just because he's not used to a bed quite as high so if we do it there then he's not going to like roll out there <laughs> so that's what that's about also this cool thing Bramwell brown thing my brother for a while was selling these through his cafe she's a very lovely supportive auntie that tends to buy things in a way that means it supports her family um that's the sunroom so the way it works is there's two, as you come in, this is where you come in, and then there's two bedrooms, but they've both got like glass walls. So she's got lovely curtains for both and blinds as well, but they've both got glass walls. And then there's that long strip as, as a sunroom overlooking the sea. Um, and then the living room kind of goes all the way down to, across the whole width. Um, and then there's the kitchen and there's a the loo and the bathroom. This is her bedroom. I need to make the bed. We brought a travel cot with us. And it's cute because it reminds me of my grandma and auntie because they had this kind of like fitted wardrobe where you can sit there and like do your makeup and look in the mirror, which is lovely. Um, yeah, and the boys are in there. Um, and at this end of the little sunroom, she's got sofa and armchairs. And again, the stunning view. Thank you. Uh, you need some wood. Can you go R? R. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are off to Folkestone, we're going to get the bus to Folkestone. There's a nice playground in the station and we're going to go to um, Folkestone Old Town, have a little look at the shops, maybe go down to the sandy beach, we've got our spades, so that's the plan.
We and Marley's in Folks and Bryce has had a nap on the bus on the way here, so we decided to stop for lunch so Stan can have something to eat and some daddy phone time and we can get some lunch. Danny's got pork belly and um, it's yours, it's your, or is it all gone? What was it? Demolished. Salt, what was it? Salt and pepper squid? Yeah. I've got a poke bowl and BB is Happy Stan? Yeah. Ah! Bow! Don't play with Bowser! Oh, in no. Mario 64! We got it! We got it! You come this side, tap it and get it ready. You're going to put it down. Come this side. Our Leah Pluridon. Thumbs up, what do you reckon? Good job. So we are on the, what is it? Is it New Romney Hive and Dim Church? I can't remember what order. But we're on the little old steam train. It's Boaz's first time. Stan did it a couple of years ago. Are we excited? Yeah, yeah. We're on a steam train, baby. It will pick up. Off we go. Very slowly. just come down to the beach bar to get pastries and um, hot chocolates and I'm sitting on grandma and great auntie's bench who were twin sisters it says in memory of twin sisters Margaret Diamond and Kathleen Evans Goulding who lived happily in the hot um, so that's one of the really special things about here is that I get to come and sit on their bench 
Um, but yeah, it's our last morning. We can have pastries and I'll probably go for a swim. We might have a little bit of a play on the beach. We'll be making our way home. It has been such a gorgeous week. Um, thanks for coming along with us. I'm really pleased to have this record and this memory of this special holiday. Um, but I will catch you later and I'll see you next week for another one. Thanks for watching.